Okay, in this video I'm going to talk about threads in C Sharp. And I'm going to use, uh, this is kind of an extension of my three-part series on events and delegates. And I'm going to use the code and the application that we developed in that um, series. And uh, I'm going to extend that and add some, add multiple threads to that application so that we'll have a more responsive application. So what do I mean by making the application more responsive? Well, here is the, uh, the code we developed in Visual Studio in C Sharp. And this is an image manipulation application. Let me show you what it does. I'll start it up. And basically gives us a, uh, a two picture boxes. And we can open an image. Here's a high-res image, JPEG. And it takes that image and populates these two picture boxes. Now, when I click Manipulate Image, this application will go through and take every, Im every pixel in this image and it will remove the blue in the RGB, red, green, blue, it will remove the blue from every pixel and it will show the modified image without the blue on the right-hand side. So let me show you that. Hit Manipulate Image. After a few seconds, there's your modified image. Okay, so let me get out of here and start it up again and show you why you might want to uh, make the, the interface more responsive. So I'll start it up, open an image. Here's my image. I put it in the two picture boxes. And once I click this manipulate image, I'm going to try and move this, this window around and see what happens. So I click. Try to move, nothing, doesn't respond whatsoever. And then suddenly, after it has modified the image, suddenly I get control back because the processor is no longer busy calculating this image. It's going back to the main Windows forms and giving me control again. So that's, sometimes that might be a bad thing. Uh, maybe you wanna have access to your form. So you wanna find some way to still be able to access your form while your application is off doing a very, intensive calculation on something. So how do I do that? Well, um, let's look at the design of that application and see what we can do on making it, making it more responsive. So I've got basically three parts to that application that we discussed in detail in the previous series. I've got my main form, which handles the buttons and the picture boxes. And then I've got the image manipulation class, and I hand it the, a bitmap image, the one that I opened up, and this does the actual work of modifying each of the two million pixels. And when it's done with that modification, it sends out an event that we discussed uh, with an event handler and notifies the main application that it's done so that the uh, event handler in the main application can then um, populate that picture box to show you the modified image. So I've basically got two main um, applications here that are going to be running. And what I would like to do is somehow run them concurrently at the same time or in parallel. So how would I do that? Well, one way to look at this is here is a resource monitor for my computer. And it shows 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... CPUs. So these are processors, virtual processors, that are kind of running in parallel. So what I would like to do is I would like to run these two parts of my application in parallel and as if I was running on two separate CPUs. So they would be running at the same time. This form is running in one CPU and this image manipulation class doing all the work is running on the separate CPU. So how do I do that? Well, I set up separate threads. And to set up separate threads, if you have set up your application the way I did it in the events and delegates, it's fairly easy work. You only need a few lines of code to set up a separate thread. So let's look into this, um, in a, the image manipulation class that does all the work in in changing the, the colors of every each of the 2 million pixels in the image and see how I would set that up to run it in a separate thread. And it turns out it's really very, very quick and easy. Um, 
here I've got my manipulate method and it is taking in a bitmap and is taking that bitmap and running through each pixel and changing it and when it's done it is sending out that bitmap uh, as we described in the events and delegates as part of the event notification and this is the method that, that initiates that event notification and pass along the finished bitmap so in order to run this in a separate thread all i have to do instead of taking a bitmap as an input i instead i take an object as the input so now i say object bmp so i'm defining an object that's coming in and then i can recast that object as my bitmap my bmap that i'm working on in here so really i just now put object as the input and use this bitmap cast to say this BMP object is actually a bitmap and we'll call it bmap. So once I've done that, this method is ready to run in a separate thread. So now the next thing I have to do and the final thing I have to do is I have to go to where I initiate that, that uh, method, that manipulate method. Uh, I did it when I clicked the manipulate button and previously it just took the modify RGB manipulate method. I passed it the new file, the file, the bitmap file that we had brought in from the um, file dialog and it called that manipulate method and ran it. If I want to run that manipulate method in a separate thread, all I have to do is comment that out and instead insert this code to start a new thread. Now, this these two lines of code uh, basically define a new thread called T1. So I've got a thread T1, and I am initializing a new, what's called a parameterized thread start. And all that means is that manipulate method requires an input parameter, right? It requires an object input to it so it can do its thing. So that is a parameterized thread start. It is starting a thread. It is running this manipulate method with a parameter, which is that, that bitmap object. Okay, so here's my code to define the new thread that will run this manipulate method, but I don't feed it the bitmap that I wanted to work on. I just say, here's the thread I wanted to run that manipulate method. And at this point, I start the thread. I say t1.start. And here is where I feed it the bitmap that I wanted to work on. Basically, I've defined it as new file. That's the, the, the bitmap file I've gotten from the open file dialog, dialog box. And here is where I feed that into that new thread to get uh, to have the manipulate method work on this. And once I do this, you can see what I'll do. I'll start the application, open image. I'll select the image, open. And now what I'll do is I will click manipulate image and you'll see I'll be able to move this, this um, window around at the same time this is doing its work. So click, I'm moving, successfully moving. And suddenly you can see at the same time, it calculated the new image and uh, sent that to the main application. And that application posted that new image in this picture box. So we have now succeeded by that one thread in making this responsive, even while this um, other method is spending a lot of time doing the work. So that's kind of a, a brief overview on how you can set up a parameterized thread. Uh, hope it's helpful and take care. Have a good day.